my sisters and I were not in a good home. I was being physically and sexually abused by my mother's boyfriend at the time. It took me a long time to speak up about it. And when I finally did, one of the detectives that we were working with did recommend Angel House as a place for us to go to be safe. Being surrounded by people that actually care for you and love for you and want the best for you. I learned what a home is supposed to be like. There were many people who helped us with just normal things that you're supposed to learn as a child. We have an on-site therapist. And we do parenting group, life skills group. The whole mission is to end the cycle of abuse and neglect. So we teach them healthy coping skills, teach them how to recognize their triggers and work through them. And oftentimes Angel House is maybe their first place where they feel accepted. Getting away from somewhere that was like so horrible for us, it, it was like just a shock for me. I was with my sisters in I know like when I'm with my sister, Christina, she's always been supportive and caring for us, so I knew I was safe with her. I grew up as pretty much being the mother in the home. So yeah, watching over them, I wanted to make sure that yes, they were safe, they were protected, that maybe I could not be mom and just be sister at some point. Well, right now I'm working with MSU FCU, which I actually love and was a complete opposite of what I thought I was going to do. Uh, MSU does a lot with giving back to the community and child and family charities is um, one of those places that we do help a lot with. And so they send out these emails all the time of, hey, do you wanna do this volunteer event? And then to find out that it was Angel House, I was like, of course, I have to be there. I messaged my manager, let her know, hey, I am very, very passionate about Angel House. I would really love to give back. And so that's how I got back at Angel House to go and build that playground. Angel House taught me to speak up, and I learned to believe in myself. 